when the average human watches this speedrun, they don't really understand exactly what's going on because there's so many millisecond perfect tricks and pixel perfect tricks that happen so fast that you kind of just watch it in awe, being like, wow, what is going on? So I'm here to analyze and explain everything that's going on, give a commentary of my run. Let's see what we do. Okay. So starting off already, we're losing 33 milliseconds. So this is a 30 frames per second game. There's a frame perfect trick here that could save one frame. Uh, and one frame is 33 milliseconds. When I say one frame, that's what I'm talking about, 33 milliseconds. Right here, you can see um, I'm clipped in the wall a little bit because I'm going down right. Um, if I held up on this frame, then I would have stayed in the wall. The game likes to push you away from the wall like Mario Bros. Um, so if I kept staying in the wall and went all the way to the right, I would have popped out saving a frame. Um, but unfortunately, I hit the up arrow like one frame too late, so I don't get the clip. But you know that, that's all right. That's only 33 milliseconds. Level two is an auto scroller, like it's, it's really easy. Level three, I go to the left here and I have a setup. So I'm the closest I can get to the dot. And as soon as I see a, uh, a photo, I hit up left on the earliest moment. I was actually one frame slow here. I could have been one frame faster. See that little gap? But yeah, um, getting this coin and then going down is frame perfect. Uh, and then we go to level four where I get a close shave, a frame perfect shave saving the most amount of time on this level. Level five, um, there's a new resolution that changes like a lot of things and you can get like a TAS, like 700 millisecond time saver. Here I stop. A lot of people are like, oh, you're not playing because you're not looking at the screen, but this is all pretty standard stuff. Like you don't really need to look at the screen. But here I stop so I can scrape by, barely making it in. Uh, right here is what matters the most. So I hold right here. Um, I'm actually losing a frame because there's too much of a gap. Um, so I would get, on, on the, uh, the level timer here, it'll be 2.9. Um, what you should be getting is 2.8. Um, if you're getting 2.7, then you're um, doing wall clips and the consistency drops dramatically. So 2.8 is like the goal. So yeah, we're one frame late. So there's a one frame gap that we could have filled there. Um, if we did have that gap filled, then if you're going for a 0.27 level, you would want to clip into this wall and pop out here. But the problem is that you are most likely to clip down instead of right. Um, and you don't want to do that. You just lose your entire run. Just try to save one frame. Like, not worth it. Um, so yeah, that's level five. We got level six where it's pretty standard stuff at the top. Uh, we go down, you can do a wall clip just in case if you feel like you're slow and you're gonna get hit by that, that row. Now here um, is a new strat. Uh, it was not very new, Steve, I found it years ago, but it's finally done in a world record. This is the first one. Um, and it's hard, like the reason why this wasn't done for years is because it's hard. So usually we just go around, but you can die and win at the same time really easily. I'm going to show you how many frame perfect tricks there are. So we go up here. I'm stopping exactly on this line here. So stopping exactly on that pixel is frame perfect. And then I have to hit up and left on the exact frame so two buttons on one frame after waiting a certain amount of time. And um, the amount of waiting is very specific. And so uh, I got another frame perfect tap when I tapped up and left on the same frame, barely not hitting the dots here. So hitting up left there is another one frame, like not hitting, not hitting these. And then we get the coin and go down immediately uh, uh, the frame that we get the coin. So that's also a one frame. And all that has come together to me barely making this little like one second time save. And now we're on level seven where I don't do the fast strat. There's a new screen size that makes this a level easier. 
which saves like um like what eight hundred milliseconds. So yeah, unfortunate. Um, I didn't even explain the big problem with this level. We go directly directly through dots here. Uh, the reason everyone just calls you a hacker because they um this game's like really simple and so uh, the audience it gets is like oh you know one plus one equals two. When in reality, if you're doing this professionally, one plus one does not equal two for some reason. Uh, the dots are actually moving so fast that they phase right through your player hitbox because a dot needs to hit a pixel in your player hitbox for two frames for it to actually kill you. So yeah, since it's moving so fast, it's hitting each hitbox pixel by only one frame. Um, and that's how it phases right through you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you know, that's always been a problem in the community when new viewers come in. Um, shout out to the Italian incident. <laughs> Level 8 has a huge skip, saves 3 seconds here. So, you know, we're playing the game normal and then BAM! BAM! So, um, we got a, like a pixel perfect, frame perfect, um, from left, clipping See how I go in the wall? And then I'm going right while holding up still. And so I stay in the wall. And then it's a pixel perfect zone where this dot barely misses you. And then another, this is actually two frame window. I clip into this wall so I don't have to stop and lose a lot of time. And I can just save more time. And then another pixel perfect coin grab right here saving so much time. Level nine, um, you know, I wait here. I, I use this dot as a timing zone. So I, like, I roughly know when to go. Um, this guy barely misses me. You know, I grab that coin. And now this, this is like two frame window, I think. We barely pop through here. I think that was a frame perfect tap down. So we save a lot of time there, that's nice. Um, and then level 10, I wait for one frame and then I go. Oh, there's actually two frames there. But yeah, um, you can see this weave is three frames. There's three frames where this works. So that's 100 milliseconds. So um, we hit that window and then we hit the 100 millisecond window again. And then we hit the one frame 33 millisecond um, tap at the exact moment, so we don't hit this dot, and we pop through, and then uh, we timed it perfectly so we can do the another 100 millisecond window to pop through here, another 100 millisecond window to pop through there, and then we stop exactly on, on this frame perfect zone, and then I go up left on the exact frame, and then I pop out on the other side, barely missing this guy by one frame, and um, doing a little wall clip, which, which saves one more frame. Um, I know that's a lot to take in, but uh, that's just how this game is. Uh, level 11, you can take a little breather here, thank God. And then the time save is here, you wanna like barely touch that. I, I must have lost like two frames maybe. Level 12 is a very scary level. Uh, if you get anywhere near any of these dots or any walls, then the game just kills you, depending on your resolution. Um, right here, I'm on this exact pixel. You can set it up pretty easily. And as soon as the little elevator here goes up, I found this by the way, uh, you can go down right around the corner, around that corner, Look at, look at just how perfect, like, look at how perfect this is. Boom. Barely touching. Boom. Barely touching. And then I barely don't stop, like, if, if I held down for one more frame, I would have died, but I stopped perfectly. And if I didn't hold down for one uh, if I held down one frame less, then I would have died from these rows. So I was like 33 milliseconds away from death twice. 
and um, another one frame away from death again here. Um, and that was just the ending. I didn't even explain all the one frame close deaths like everywhere. But um, that's just how close it is. This is pretty much an auto scroller. Level 14, we um, cut the corner here with enough practice. This is very consistent. Level 15, you really just got to know your stuff, honestly. Like, just follow the pattern. Um, very scary here, but, you know, you just got to push the button. Uh, here is the same kind of thing as 15. Uh, right here, you want to be very careful. Like, we go against the wall. We get the coin. As soon as you get the coin, a one frame down right. And we're dipping directly into this coin where we, uh, I'll save that went down like an extra frame, but yeah, um, level 16. <laughs> level 17 is the only level where we can actually just breathe and you can just press buttons. Now, lots of people have lost world record runs right here because this dot doesn't go all the way up and since it's moving down, you actually can hit the circle without um, actually touching it because the hitbox drags behind like a like a tail. Um, so you know, I was I was safe here. Um, barely makes it. Level eighteen is very scary. Um, already going up right here. Frame perfect to stop here, and line up. And then I get that, I go weaving. And then these two dots here, I want to get them at the same time. So I got that dot and now I'm going to go upright. Perfect. And then I'm going to get these two dots at the same time, hopefully. That's a two frame window that you, um, to get them both. And now that I got them both, I'm going to go down. Frame perfect. I go around. I get those two and then we have to hit it again. Two, there's only two frames where you can get both of them. And then we hit down again, frame perfect. And then we did it again. Ooh, we actually lost a frame there. We'll frame late, which is why I ended up losing a whole second here, um, missing that coin. And um, yeah, uh, we hit another frame perfect. I think, no. Yeah, it, it went all wonky here, so we lost a whole fra a whole second there. Um, that's just how tight this, this game is. It's crazy. Level 20 here, it's very tight to get this coin. Do I do, I do a frame perfect grab? No, but we still made it, barely. Um, thank God for two frames. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a lot of two frame windows that I'm not even talking about because it's two frames <laughs> or three frames um, Which is still very tight like 100 milliseconds or 66 millisecond windows And I'm being like yeah, you know easy <laughs> like what? Uh, so level 21 here I go down here frame perfect I grab this coin and as soon as I grab it, I dip. You want to get the bottom left corner of that coin so you can just get closer to the finish. But yeah, very tight. Level 22 is um, pretty easy, but it can get you. Um, right here, I look at this corner and I see that like, um, that, like these two black areas are touching. So I don't have to stop and wait here. I can just go. Uh, level 23, I wait for this cycle. I get all this. Now that's that's frame perfect. Uh, there's a two frame window here. So I get those two and then I go, I go down. And then I get these two. And then I go, and then I get these two. And I, it's two frames every single um, angle we go. Very tight, but we hit it. Oh, very tight movement here. There's probably like some two frames everywhere. Um, probably like some crazy tight stuff everywhere. But, you know, this is just more practice. 
Um, level 26 is the level that I shine the most on. No one saves as much time as me on this level. So it is a frame perfect, like pixel perfect strat. As soon as we're moving, like as, look at this. As soon as we spawn, we're going. That is a pixel perfect trick right there. And then we have to do this shenanigans. And then going through here is two, fr there's a two frame window that you can squeeze through there. And then a two frame window that you can squeeze through here. So 66 milliseconds. And then we grab that. I, knew I was one frame away from death there. That was scary. Yeah, look at that. Um, we have to cut it close here. It's so like one frame closer to the left, I would have probably died. But it's because I need to squeeze through here. Look at that. Um, you know, lots, lots of tight movement. You can see I'm almost dying everywhere. Um, but I make it work. And then I kind of time this so like I, I barely scrape by. And as soon as I uh, this dot right here taps, I s oh, actually, you know, I, I kind of just fill it out, I guess. Um, I squeeze through here, which is a two frame or one frame or something like that. Um, and we go to the end. There you go. Level 27. Um, <laughs> you know, a lot of like, I don't know, four frame windows. It's, it's fine. A lot of two, three frame. Very tight, very small adjustments everywhere. Um, oh, actually two frames away from death here. So that was a little bit scary. Um, what is that, frame perfect right there? Popping through. Uh, the new resolution, we can just skip all this, but it's a frame perfect trick there. Uh, no one's gotten it yet, but it'll happen soon. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna talk in this part. Like the amount of perfectness in this upper area, like I'll just let it speak for itself. Like, if you watch the arrows here, you can see that I'm not holding left all the time. Like, you can see, uh, like, I let go multiple times. And that was just here. And I, I do it, like, I do it somewhere earlier as well. So I'm tapping a bunch of buttons there. This is pixel perfect, and it's the second to last level in the game. And you can see I'm, I'm shitting myself. Uh, but I hit it, and now I'm in shock. Like... Please just play the game normally. Don't suck. I'm scared. Um, this. How tight was I? So I'm on this line, which is a corner. You get the corner of the coin by doing that. Okay, that was pretty um, slow, but it's the last level, so I'm shitting myself. Oh my god, did I really pixel perfect that coin? That's so risky. Oh and oh there god. it is. Oh my god. <laughs> and that's that's it. That was the end of the run. Um I can't believe I did that. I am in shock. Um yeah. Um it's not easy. It's not easy, but with enough practice and enough dedication, yeah, you can do it. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you have any questions, just drop it in the comments. And uh, I, hope, I hope this was informative and I hope you learned something. And um, yeah, let me know what you thought. But yeah, peace.